this video is part of Be Real, building stress resilience in early adolescents' lives, a public engagement project from the University of Oxford. Our aim is to engage teenagers with evidence-based science and practices of stress resilience. What if we never made mistakes and every day went perfectly? We live each day, getting the best grades, never arguing with friends, always getting on with her family. It would be brilliant, right? Imagine learning to cook, trying a recipe that turns out exactly right first time. We'd feel great. That's because whenever we do something right that we didn't expect to, a chemical called dopamine is released into the striatum, an area that's part of the brain's reward system. It gives us a boost, and because the striatum loves dopamine, we want to do it again. But dopamine is funny. It's not quite a reward. Instead, it loves new, unexpected things. And when we try new things, we will often make mistakes. There's got to be a balance. Sometimes we'll get things right, sometimes we won't. In fact, making mistakes is important for our brain and for our learning. Mistakes tell us that we need to try something different to succeed. This teaches us one of the best lessons we can learn being mentally flexible. Being flexible is a work of part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. This is the area of the brain that's expanded most in our development from apes to humans. The prefrontal cortex changes a lot during adolescence and won't be fully developed until our 20s. So our teenage years are a great time to make mistakes and learn from them. As we learn, the connections between different areas of our brains strengthen. Our striatum and prefrontal cortex talk to each other better and work together to tackle problems as a team. Whether we're cooking, doing maths or singing, over time we get better and better at things. Practice, especially making mistakes, creates rich connected brain networks that help the next time we meet a challenge. When we face a new but similar situation, the connections in our brain that helped us try out strategies that didn't work before might now be the route to success. When we push ourselves out of our comfort zone and face our fears, we will make mistakes. It will feel hard now, but we can choose how we think about mistakes. Rather than seeing them as a sign of failure, we can see them as a chance for learning. Taking this approach helps us deal with challenges now and in the future. We can also help our friends by supporting them if they make a mistake and encouraging them to keep going. So, from now on, embrace mistakes. They help you learn.